guys and welcome back to our channel uh, in today's battle report some um, yeah, of our favorite armies in the whole 40k galaxy it's the blood angels versus a wild tournator 1000 points in showing the upcoming battle and we would have liked to see them in the final of our tournament yeah but unfortunately i think both armies yeah, most of the vanished most of the good the guys were wiped out. <laughs> well, that's the 1000 points of Blood Angels. Um, you might be aware that's the same army we always use in the 1000 point battle. So the army is led by a Space Marine Captain um, with Displacer Field and jump pack also not shown on the model itself. Then furthermore I um, use the tech marine with a refractor field and a plasma gun in order to take all those nice vehicles. Uh, speaking of the vehicles I've got one Blood Angel Strednaut with assault can and power fist as shown on the model. Furthermore a tech bike but instead of the um, attached heavy bolter it has uh, a multimeter as well as the lens beater and including the heavy flamer as well. Um, and then I've only got two squads, a uh, squad of Blood Angel Scouts um, with heavy bolter and needle sniper rifles and five veteran assault marines with jump packs, bolt pistols and chainsaws. And we already or I have already drawn my strategy card. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a very good strategy card indeed, but not in today's battle because I draw pure strategy and I roll a 3. So I will start the battle with a strategy rating of 8 in total. At least I'm sure to have the first turn in our battle. Okay, and these are our regular 1000 points of Tyranids. Um, <laughs> first of all, we've got a Hive Tyrant with Claws, Bad Attitude, Spine Fist, Bone Sword, Psychic Scream, uh, and Devourer, Nilesome, Voltage Field, and Toughened Exoskeleton at 266 points. We've got one Lictor with Regenerate. Then we've got four broods of six gargoyles each, but most of them, and these are the better ones, are so broken that there are only the wings left. <laughs> and in case of others, there are not even the wings left uh, or bent. Okay, and then we've got uh, the fifth brood, consists of 16 homogons, and the final, the sixth brood, consists of 16 termagents. And this is our regular 1000 point turret list. It's only flaws that if the hive turret is shot, hmm, you've got a problem with the hive mind. Well, the link is too uh, And most of them, <laughs> of the others, only have got a leadership of five. And here's our large table. We've got five forests. First one, the green one, the second one, the third one with the tall tree, in the middle of it, the fourth one, and on Alex or in Alex deployment zone, the fifth one. Uh, as you can see, we've already deployed. There's the Imperial Bastion in the middle, there are three large hills. And uh, we've got our five forests. I had to deploy first because of Alex's brilliant strategy. And all, first time ever it happened, all of the event rows oh. for Alex, uh, walkers, vehicles, squads, and characters were without a result. That was really amazing. Yeah, so. Well, <laughs> six times in a row, row uh, one, two, or three. Okay, and our missions. Huh? Alex has got engage and destroy, and I've got terrorize. Okay, so my units, the first of them, 
first brood of gargoyles is hiding behind the hill. The second brood is inside this forest together with the army commander and the brood of homogons. The third brood of gargoyles, the fourth, well it's kind, kind of camouflage, <laughs> the fourth brood of gargoyles in the forest at the left side of my deployment zone together with the termagants. Whereas Alex has his fast units at the flanks of his deployment zone, the land speeder over there. The attack bike over there. Resolve our Man, this, might, moment. this might be a pincer attack. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crushing the turret horde, hopefully. And in the center, my army commander, tech marine, veteran assault marine, and dreadnought. And we deployed our scouts because both of us have troops uh, which are allowed to infiltrate. Technically, so, we normally we, we take pictures, but uh, today, but today. Oh. so um, I we rode and I had to deploy first, and I put my scouts in the imperial bastion, and Marcus put his victor in the forest beside the cacti. <laughs> Okay, we don't have to roll for beginning because with my stage rating of 8, yeah. uh, Marcus can't beat me. So we got to have the first turn. Well, it's the end of the first turn of the blood edges, the movement phase. As you can see, I accelerated both vehicles on fast speed, the land speeder and the attack bike in order to get as close as possible to the enemy because those two vehicles are really vulnerable because of the gargoyles which can mm -hmm. of course uh, use their tempered weapons to kill the crew so I decided at least to get one shot off with both mm -hmm. uh, units and harm the enemy as uh, much as I can uh, whereas my hidden scouts and my dreadnought went both on overwatch and my assault marines, including the army commander, ran inside the forest toward the edge of the forest. I can't even see your tech marine. He's behind the okay. tree trunk. Okay. Exactly heading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Starting yep. with the shooting phase. Um, the oh, um, the land speeder has the heavy flamer. So maybe let's say two of them. Mm -hmm. So Auto hit five. Strings two plus probably. Two plus. Yeah. Okay. Both are down. Are down. And then I use my multi melter with targeter, mm -hmm. probably hitting on two. Yeah. And it's a two inch blast marker. So one of them has to be at half cover. Uh, so the four plus the second one. Mm -hmm. No. So only one strength toughness. Yeah. So three are down. Three are down and we need to take a break test on and I think it's on five. Yeah, that's awesome. So, wow, that's great. Brave because gargoyles. this will yeah, this will hurt. Can retaliate yeah. next time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But at least three of them are down. Three less. Okay, then starting with the attack bike, mm -hmm. he's using his twinning boaters. That means I have to roll once to it. Yep. With what a shot. Yeah. Tits. Then strange four versus toughness and three is three plus two. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So one two of them down. is down. No, one of Other them. One, yeah. Yeah. And I use my multi to yeah. hit. Four. To wound. Yeah. And, and you may roll another yeah. on four plus. Yeah. yeah. There's another so one. Strange toughness. toughness. So two okay. One. So three down in total. Yep. But I but think they don't have to take a break test because they're within yeah. the hive the mind. mind. So at least six gargoyles destroyed. Yeah, that's up. a lot. Uh, and you are yeah, you you might get you get additional victory points because of engage and destroy for every brood destroyed. Yeah, but so far nothing is destroyed completely. Mm -hmm. But I think it was a really good start, but now I think my two vehicles will be gone. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the because there's no cycle, no close combat yet. So let's see for end of the first turn of the Blood Angels. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's the end of my first movement phase and I really, or my small ones, had to fly through a wall of fire, which resulted in several gargoyles being killed by Overwatch fire. And even if you take a closer look at the Dreadnought, yeah, you can see the barrels of the assault can still steaming yeah, from the rain of fire, which resulted in two dead Hormaguns. All of my units are advanced, or in case of the two uh, heavily depleted squads, went on flying high. These over there tried to use their flame spurt on the attack bike. We've already agreed on each of them hitting two times without any other special rule stuff. Uh, Anything else, whereas these four will target the crew of the lane speeder. So, um, the only other model which can shoot is my Hive Turret, who will use his Devourer on 2 plus on the squad over there. Because they use the Overwatch to shoot two gargoyles, so they're yeah. visible now. But I think it was still a great idea because every dead gargoyle, no, <laughs> won't, dead gargoyle. Uh, won't <laughs> cause. Okay. Any problems any longer? Hitting on two? On two. Yep, I hit. Two sustain fire. Yeah, probably two gems. Good weapon. But then I'll climb and throttle you. Three and a gem. One gem yeah. and three hits on three different Okay, ones. as we've scored hits, you need to take a break test, because a uh, fear test. Because the devourer is so... Uh, yeah, so horrific. Yeah. Yeah, it's passed. Okay, you've passed. Yeah, and then times. got three, three different, different ones. Times. One heavy bolt and... We will roll it after that. So, three hits. Okay. It's four versus three, because you're not yet a fully fledged mm -hmm. Space Marine. So, on threes, oh, so one only so one of them is down. Yeah. Which one, one two. not the Sarge, because his toughness four. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four. Once again. I'll re-roll. One, two, so yeah. this one is gone. But no break test, so it was a waste of time. Okay. But now the gargoyles starting maybe. There okay. There. The first gargoyle over there, two times on the crew. We will see Fresh. if it was driver or gunner. Five plus. Five plus, but minus two. So one hit. One hit and one five plus armor save. No, so you have to roll first one, one two, three, the gunner. Okay, so Driver's dead. dead. Second, second one, driver. strength toughness, no. Only yeah. left. And the third one, oh. no. And the fourth one, yep. yep. And an armor save, no. no. So both are dead, it will go out of control and you may remove it, yep. And the same over here, six times. Okay. Flame spurt on the crew for the first time. Six and one, no, no. One, one, one of them is dead. One, two, three, the driver is dead. No, the, no, the gun is dead. Second one is only one dies because. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Saved. saved. Third yeah. one. Yep. No. no. So but maybe it's yeah. crashing into the thermogen. So one, two left, mm -hmm. 45 degrees, three, four straight ahead. And uh, it crashes into the Just kidding. We remember it, the result. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's to the I've left, turned. I've turned, yeah, and 3d6. Six. six inches, maybe it's stopping. Yeah, maybe it's enough. No. Blow him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you may remove it as well, I think. So, and this is probably the end of my first turn, as I can't do anything else. Well, that was a really bad retaliation for me because my both fast vehicles are gone by now. Um, but maybe it's still possible to achieve some kind of victory. Um, my Dreadnought went on Overwatch because he can't see anything because all is in cover or hidden behind the forest. Uh, my Jump Marines left the cover. Uh, jump there in order to shoot at the Gargos with their bolt pistol at a short distance, including the army commander with jump back. 
and most cards remain where they are in hard cover and they will shoot as well as long as they still are still alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting with the five uh, veteran assault marines hitting on twos. So three hits. Strength toughness is three plus. One is gone. One is down. And the army commander shoots as well. Okay, strength toughness. No. Failed to wound. Oh, this was a um, miserable uh, result. So you've we killed try one. to shoot the last one card. See the gargoyles, he shoots at the Termogens. Okay. Uh, but failed to hit. And the front row can see the gargoyles. So we've got two regular guys and two a heavy... Two sniper rifles. One hit. Uh, I don't need to roll strength yeah. well. So one gargoyles. is dead. And the heavy bolt down. Hits. And two sustain fire dice. So four hits. Mm -hmm. So one on two. each of the remaining. Okay. Yeah, because I think he can't mm -hmm. see those two because of the rock there. This depends on where they are hovering yeah. in the air. Okay. Oh, yeah. So another two are gone, okay. and there are only two left. Now we have to check if there's still a half man. I think it's eighteen inch. Eighteen, I think, I think so. No. no. Okay. So, so they probably the do flying high. If they break, what they will do because five isn't much. Yeah, yeah flying high. Squat. Yeah. Managed to survive it. Okay, that's the end of my second turn. It will break after Marcus' second turn. Okay, we are back after my second movement phase, and I thought about going on flying high with them, but I might be within the range of the Assault Cannon, which is an Overwatch, the Redness Assault Cannon. So I just flew back a little and uh, they advanced inside the forest in order to charge at the same time Lictor and the Homagons. So he'll have to decide which unit to fire at. My army commander advanced because Alex reminded me that my Devourer was jammed. So, mm, there won't be another chance to force him into a break test. Only I cause terror, but I think I'm too far away. And the others ran. And these are broken and went on flying high. So there are two depleted gargoyle broods, which came down close to the enemy army commander and veteran assault squad. And we agreed that all of their flame spurts will hit two of the Space Marines in power armor. So I roll for the first of this brood. They are auto hit, strength toughness on fives, only one, and one five plus armor safe. Mm -hmm. Survived. The second one, no, and the third one, oh, get a beating, no. So one is down. And the other three, the first two, no. Second one, one, one of five, you saved. And the last one, yep, one, is it a five? Yeah, it is. So not even forced into a break test. Your brave bodyguard of the army commander, the space marine captain. And now I think Alex might gain four victory points if he turns and just shoots the two gargoyle brutes. So... Yeah. Can you perform your ready test now? Uh, I think this is the turn, Second turn in which I, I, broke. I yeah, which I broke. So probably only of the third one. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys. Think look. Things look a little bit desperate because the turns are closing in. On the Blood Angels, um, my Dreadnought as well as the Tech Marine remained on Overwatch. My Assault Marines turned in order to use the Rapid Fire rule to shoot at the Gargoyle Brood. So, and this cards remained on the outpost uh, looking what's coming up yeah. the outpost next time. <laughs> okay. So, Rapid Fire two times on these Just three, two. Uh, four shots on two plus. Four shots. Okay, four hits. Four times, three plus. So one is dead. 
one is dead, one out of three. And I but think we need to test. take a break test because I think we can we'll yeah. measure it afterwards, uh, but it's probably more than 18. I think so. Yeah. yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. So there's one break test and you've got another six shots. And four shots. Those two. And the other commander. The four hits. Mm -hmm. Three plus one down. Another one down, so another another break test and your army commander. But I think you have to take a break test as soon as... Okay. So maybe he can't shoot. One, two. And... For these... Mm -hmm. the they remain and the other ones... They remain as well. Okay, yeah, so my other so brave. Shoot. Yeah, he shoots at mm -hmm. those. Those rapid fire. One hit. And one is down. So I've got... Oh, wow, wow. Okay, and those, yeah, should, but maybe, do they have grenades, maybe? Is I it think they might have red grenades. Red grenades, I don't know. It does make sense. Hmm. Well, I think they will shoot this as not rifles. Okay. So two times the normal scouts. One mm -hmm. the sergeant, no, no. and they have a builder. builder. No, no, okay. So, so one, one is dead. Hooray. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of my third turn. Okay, we're back after the movement of my third turn, and as you can see, all of the Homer guns together with the Lictor charged into the Tech Marine and the Dreadnought. Uh, two or three of them were killed mm -hmm. by the Overwatch fire. The Tech Marine tried can. to shoot the, his Overwatch at the Lictor with his plasma gun and of course wrote a chat for his plasma gun. Yeah. And over there they only moved their six inches so I've turned them and because of the way they are facing, these six can only target the scouts on fives and sixes because of the plus one to closeness. And my army commander will try to use his devourer again. Uh, whereas we've got already agreed that five models will be under the flame spurts and they are still broken. And I think that's it. Yeah, we've got one brood over there. We've got two heavily depleted broods and the fourth one is broken. Okay, so let's start with shooting. I'll do my army commander first on a two plus. No, yeah, that's really bad At because the devourer. Yeah. Okay, five flash borrow shots on fives. Only, no, not even a single one of them. This was rubbish, it was a bad idea. And another three on sixes, not a single one of them. And then we've got one, two on three plus because of the close range, two ones. And then we've got seven. Okay. Seven on fours to hit. And spring toughness is four plus. Only one, but no armor safe. So if Alex rolls a three, no one for them is down. Okay, so do you have to take a break test because twenty five percent of that. Yeah, just roll. Oh, nine is your army commander. Yeah. Okay. And now we've got three flame spurts onto the remaining guys, and they are only on fives. Got three, and you've got three times your five plus one of them. Okay, two are left, and then we've got our close combats. I've got two dice, weapon skill four, and I've charged. You've got a weapon skill of six, one one, but one six as well. And I've got five plus four is nine, charging ten. One from you is eleven. I've got twelve. Okay, one strike with the power fist and he's probably mm -hmm. dead. Okay, there's one dead homogond. And the second homogond. Alex has got... Uh, five is enough. 
Uh, I've got double ones and a six. Okay, one fumble is cancelled out. Cancel. So I've got four plus six is ten, charging eleven. Second attacker is twelve, but you get a one from me. And not, twelve as well. But you've probably got the high initiative. I'm not yeah. so sure about anything even the hollow, because I've got five initiative. Mm -hmm. And my small Hormagon has got an initiative of four. Four? Okay, yeah. so I've got one hit. One power fist hit. No. Yeah. No, oh, that's great, because now you can't use your salt cannon in your turn, because you're still locked daily oh. combat. Okay, I've got ten. And I've got one one that's bad. Ten, eleven. I've got six plus four is ten, charging eleven plus two for being the third attacker, so I've got 13. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm two hits, now you can choose, I think, the location. I'm only 2d6 plus 4, so this won't help, oh, not even against the legs, because I'm only strength 4. Oh, okay. I, I'm allowed oh. to choose uh, well, that location. Matter. Okay, yeah. then it's the end of your third turn. Okay. Fourth turn and maybe last turn of the Blood Angels. Um, my Techman is going to use his rapid fire to shoot at the Homogon Brood. Um, he hits twice. Mm -hmm. Strength, Strength toughness. toughness. Three plus two wounds, so one. One's down. Okay. Homogon is gone. Dreadnought is in close combat. My Scouts, scouts. Um, three times need a sniper rifle. Two hits. Mm -hmm. So two are down, and one head bolter. Oh, this time he even hits. Yep, two sustain fire dice. Okay, two hits and a jam. But this won't force them into a break test. So two more. Mm -hmm. So four. Um, and then my army commander rapid fire. Yep. Hits. Strength toughness. And wounds. And those two rapid fire. Yep, four times on twos. It's strength toughness on threes. And yeah. So two brutes killed for victory That's points for because sure. of engage and destroy. Yeah. Okay, then the close combat. Yep. With my dreadnought. The two homogens locked in close combat. Yep. So I've got ten. And the first of them has got Eleven. six ten. You've got one hit with your power fist. Yeah, he's uh -huh. dead. And the second one. Okay, all it's got. I've got 12, 13, 14, 15. I've got 10, 11. So four hits. Yeah, he's dead. But I'm lucky because now it's my fourth turn and I can charge him with everything okay. I've got. So that's the end of my fourth turn. Yeah. We are back after my fourth movement phase, and as you can see, they remained over there. And the newly or freshly rallied brood of gargoyles, we said that they are flying high, remained high in the air for the moment. Whereas my army commander, the hive turned, charged the four remaining scouts, including the heavy bolt and the sergeant and the two regular members. The 11 or 12 termagents moved closer towards the enemy army commander, uh, trying to shoot, trying to use the flash borers on the space marine assault unit. And I think I've got one, two, three, four homoguns and one lictor in close combat with the dreadnought and three homoguns in close combat with the tech marine. So let's do shooting first because these are fewer models or dice to be rolled. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with an eight inch, so I think the first one, two, three, four, five will get plus one and so hit on threes. Is it the army or the veterans? No, the regular guys. On threes, only three. 
So it's three times brings three versus toughness, a uh, four versus toughness four is on four plus. Two of them, and you've got two three plus armor saves. No one is already gone, and then we've got test. No. no, and then we've got another six left. No. Six times on fours on the last remaining guy. Uh, these are three strength toughness on fours, only one and one. Yeah, so one of you guys survived, but I'm not sure. No. If the Termagents will survive because your army command is still there. So then we've got several close combats. Let's start over there. You may choose. Uh, I think I found the sergeant last because it's mm -hmm. the only one with the sword. Yeah. I can parry because of the bone sword. I've got claws, bone sword, and spine fist. Yeah, this cards have a sword as well and a bone fist. Yeah. We have two attacks. That's good. Okay, first card. Five plus four is nine. Mm -hmm. I've got five, I think that's a basic weapon skill of you. Six attacks. You can only yeah. get more. Oh, you get okay. one from me, and I've got nine plus six, fifteen, charging six, one. sixteen. Yeah. Eight, second, nine. Ten, you get eight. two from me, but it won't be enough. And this third one. Yeah. Let's remove you can him. remove this one. <laughs> and then you've got an additional three dice plus your two. Basic. You can parry, so can I. Okay, uh, two two fumbles. fumbles so yeah. off. And now I've got nine plus four is thirteen, charging fourteen, and you've but probably ten, got more than me. Ten plus three is thirteen. Yeah, so and I've got fourteen. Left. And I've got 9 plus 4 is 13, charging 14. Yeah, I've got 13. Okay, so it's one hit. Let's say strength 6, the bones are probably versus uh, might be enough because your toughness 4. Do I have a scout armor? I think he might just roll. I think he might even have regular armor, although he's. But with no, a 1, it doesn't matter. No, that's not enough. <laughs> yeah. So they are gone. And then the more interesting one against your tech marine, the first homogant. I've got, oh, you get one from me, and you might be able to parry. Pistol chainsword. Yeah. Okay. Fumble is cancelled out, and I've got five plus four is nine. I've got four plus three is seven, charging eight. You've got one. Strength toughness. Yeah, Correct. that's enough. The first one is dead. And the second out of these three. Okay, Eleven. I've got nine, four, eight, nine, second, ten. I've got one hit on a three. Yeah, second is dead. And the last one, the last one of my home guns. No one, that's great. Okay. Mm, you can reroll one six. I've got eleven. I've got six plus four is ten, charging. 11 and third attacker is 13 so two hits strength four versus your toughness four is four plus none of them so you remain locked in deadly close combat and now we've got four homer guns and one lictor okay the first of the homer guns against your dreadnought ten charging 11 one hit with the power fist first one down Second Tormagant, you get one from me, okay, I get one from you, I've got 9, 10, 11, ten? one hit string, <laughs> no, it's ridiculous, yeah. and the third one, Twelve. now I got 10, charging 11, third attacker, 12, 13. Okay, and the fourth attacker. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. 
and I got 6 plus 4 is 10, charging 11 plus 3 is 14. You've got 1 uh, because you've got the high Ready. initiative. This was bad. And now I've got a Lictor with 4 attacks 1, 2, 3, 4 plus an additional anything of dice. Okay, I've got 6 and 1, I've got 12. I think I get an additional four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And you've got a one, one and one, six. No. I will probably win if I got lots of ones. So I've got six plus seven is 13. 14, 15, charging. 17 charging is 18 plus 4 for being the fifth attacker is 22. Mm -hmm. So 22. So these are 10 hits mm -hmm. at d6 plus 6 plus d12. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll choose the legs for all of them. Legs, arms. Which mm -hmm. is the lowest? Well, I, I just use the legs. Legs, okay. okay. 20. 20. So let's see. First out of 10. Mm -mm. No. Second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's 15 yeah. plus 6. But you might have ablative. The third roll. No. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth. You count the rolls, no. I count the penetration. Yeah. Fifth roll. No. no. Sixth. No. Seventh. Yeah. 8th, no, 9, 10, 16, 9th, no, and the final blow, no. So we've and only 3, three and, it's and ablative, so 1 is safe, yeah. so 2. 2 times the legs, the leg let's see what happens, 2 and 2, the oh, so is this is lucky. It's yeah. like a 3, 6 in the rear direction, colliding with anything moved into. Yeah. So he's... Out of close combat, three inch. Yeah. Maybe just roll it with direction he's getting. And, this one. and can he do anything? Yeah, it's just staggering. Okay. Three six. No. So he was probably lucky. Yeah. No. Can he do anything? Uh, do he have? Does he have to re-roll, mm. or can he move normally from can... now on? Okay. So and I think that's the end of my fourth turn. Okay, end of the fifth turn. Um, yeah, my Dreadnought was really fortunate and was combat that he, due to the result of the um, damage chart, he moved out of the close he combat. stumbled out yeah. of close combat. And so I... I uh, carried the chance to move it in position to order to shoot at the hive turret. It's my only chance to harm the hive turret, to be honest. And my army commander and the remaining marine uh, jumped into the bastion uh, in order to shoot with the ball pistols at the uh, homogans. And my tech marine is still in plus combat with one yeah. homogant. Okay, okay, so okay, shooting is first. Shooting, so those two will use their ball pistols, hitting on twos. Yeah, strength toughness. Wounding on Three, so one, one of them is down. It's down. Yep. And then my dreadnought tries mm -hmm. to hit the half turret. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Three sustained fire dice. So three chances. Yeah. <laughs> this might be a victory because the amount five of fire, fire yeah, might kill, or uh, easily thing. kill because of the ten, the ten but wounds even a single one does. Toughness. Uh, I'm toughness seven, so it's a three plus for you five times. Echo skeleton. Yeah. Okay. So two only. Two were saved by the toughness. Mm -hmm. and so one. three went through, and then I've got a voltage field. Right, so four plus and so one of them will help, but even a single one is enough. Here comes four yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's bad. bad. Now I've got three times the ten wounds probably. Yeah. So only if Alex rolls three ones. So six. Six wounds. Now he's down. Six. Yeah.
And seven. That's too much. Nineteen right? yeah. points for the left hand. Even four. And this was really a victory uh, because three victory points plus all these extra victory points because of your mission. Yeah, I can't hope to get close. But do they have the yeah. initial test now, the Roman guns? Uh, my units within... 12 and 8. Yeah, so there are so at I least two brutes, the Termagents and yeah. the others. Yeah. Yeah. So for the Termagents, yeah, 9. And for the Hormogans, yeah, so with his final breath, the, yeah, as well. the Dreadnought succeeded, yeah, but not the Lictor. The Lictor will fight back. Yeah. And they flee as well. Yeah. So, so there are only three units left, two broods of gargoyles and my Lictor. But I have get three hex because he's free yeah. as well. So we read it, uh, he has two attacks or one yeah. attack as well, but weapon skill of zero. So my tech win has five plus five is ten. Yeah. So he's probably dead, you can remove him. Yeah. Okay. Because he can't have more than six. Okay, that's the end of my fifth turn. And on we go with my fifth turn. So we are back after the fifth movement phase and it's really exciting because mm -hmm. I had to use, otherwise I've lost by victory points, I had to use my last remaining forces, the Gargoyle units. So two depleted units, four over there and two over there, will try to kill some of the remaining, uh, the last assault marine and the tech marine. Lictor. Whereas my Lictor desperately revenge for the tries to kill the dreadnought, but even then I don't think I'll have enough victory points mm -hmm. because of all the broken units. So there are at least six brutes gone and at the army commander. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so... First of all, we'll do some shooting. Okay, four, four times on the Tech Marine. It's uh, strength toughness on fives. Mm -hmm. Two times, and you've got two armor saves. No, so this one is dead. I think he's got a refractor field. Okay, so you've got two five plus saves. Oh. Yeah. No. And then I've got two, only two flame spurts on the remaining assault marine. Mm -hmm. Come on. No. no, none of them. That's bad. Okay. Then and then I've got the last final close oh, combat. One, two, three, four. I think. No, only. Yeah, it's four. I've got a weapon skill of seven and I've got four dice. Okay. You've got three dice? Oh. Yeah, that's great. Six and no one. The only advantage I have is that I've charged. I've got seven plus four is eleven, charging is twelve, whereas you've got thirteen. Yeah, you've got one hit with your power fist. Okay, so I might get a wound, but I have a five plus dodge. Yep. Yep, dodged away. And that's it. The end of our battle. I think we skip it after fifth round. Yeah. But it's it's really interesting now who won. I'm not I'm absolutely not sure. Yeah, I'm sure you've won because victory points of yeah. the mission. you've got six victory points out of your mission. You killed all and the you've killed the hive turret, which is at least three victory points alone. Yeah, yeah we calculated and pull back with a short conclusion. Back with the result of the battle, it was really close. Um, we calculated the victory points, and I got 13 for the Blood Angels, and Marcus got, um, I think, 7 for the Tyranids. Mm -hmm. That sounds very, um, yeah, it sounds like a very great victory for the Blood Angels, but we just uh, calculated the victory points which I got through for my mission engage and destroy, and 5 out of 13. Um, were acquired by the mission objective. Uh, so without the mission, it would be eight to seven for the Blood Angels. And we even checked uh, because in the end it was really incredibly lucky for me because my 
Dreadnought or Marcus wrote the early yeah. result on the damage chart, which uh, allows my Dreadnought to break off from first combat and are yeah. fully unharmed, unharmed yeah. and was able to move and use this assault cannon on the Hive Tyrant. And by killing the Hive Tyrant, um, two brutes were forced to flee and couldn't yeah. recover and rally in their last turn. These were so three points for the brutes, another two, two victory yeah. points because of your mission, plus three for the downed Hive Tyrant, plus another one because of your mission. So, so these are nine victory points yeah. with one with a shot. single yeah. assault can shot. Yeah. So without a single assault can shot, I would have lost the battle for sure. Um, but you can see, it's especially I think at the low point, um, we play 1000 points. Yeah. It really matters if the Hive turn is killed. Um, it's normally the doom for the uh, Turnit Horde because then many units will uh, break. And um, so I think it was a really lucky victory for the Blood Angels this time. And it was a very interesting game. Mm -hmm. Technically, uh, we always enjoy our Warhammer Fantasy battles because even the last round you might succeed, mm -hmm. you might uh, grab the victory from the opponent. But in case of Warhammer 40k, uh, after round two or three, it's sometimes over because you don't have any weapon left which is able to harm the advancing land raider or stuff like that, but today it was really exciting mm -hmm. because in the beginning it looked great. Uh, first of all, it looked bad yeah, because Alex killed so many gargoyles yeah. and these are good really for the violent angels. groups. Yeah. But then, uh, after I had killed the attack bike and the land speeder, and the land speeder I thought I would be able to pick the rest apart, having underestimated the powers of my Hormaguns and my Lictor against the Alex uh, Blood Angels Dreadnought. I think I'm, I should have used the cheap Biomorph Sharpened Claws. To it's just 5 strength, yeah. instead of Regenerate. Okay, yeah, but that's the game. No, Congrats, Alex. Thank you very much. This was a really exciting game. And this was one of uh, the, the combinations we would have liked to see in our tournament. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all of these armies on 1,500 points. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.